One of the most fundamental constants in the universe is the speed of light. It establishes a cosmic speed limit that nothing can exceed, and it influences everything from subatomic particle behavior to the evolution of galaxies. It's a testament to the incredible nature of the universe. This constant connects all of space and time and reminds us of the limitless possibilities of science and discovery. It's a dividing line between the known and the unknown, a frontier we've only just begun to explore. It's the essence of speed, a force so powerful and awe-inspiring that it bends the fabric of space and time, distorts our perceptions of reality, and calls into question our most fundamental beliefs about the nature of existence itself. But we might have actually discovered how to surpass it. By now, if you're curious enough, you already know that light is pretty fast. It is in fact the fastest thing that exists, and it's a universal law that nothing can move faster than light. Light travels at approximately 186,000 miles per second, or 300,000 kilometers per second, and it takes just over a second to travel from Earth to the Moon. Light can travel from Los Angeles to New York in less than a second. How about this, if you were to travel at the speed of light, you'd be able to go around the world nearly eight times in less than a second. Now, imagine traveling at even 1% of that. Well, while 1% of anything may not seem like much, with light, that's a lot of speed. Over 1 million kilometers per hour. That's still over 10,000 times faster than a commercial airliner. Let's look at some of the ways in which science has actually come close to surpassing the unachievable. Bullets have a top speed of 2,600 miles per hour, or 4,200 kilometers per hour, which is more than three times the speed of sound. NASA's X-3 jet plane has the fastest top speed, reaching 7,000 miles per hour or 11,200 kilometers per hour. And although this is impressive, it's still only 0.001% of the speed of light. Spacecraft are the fastest human-made objects. They use rockets to escape Earth's gravity, which requires a speed of 25,000 miles per hour or 40,000 kilometers per hour. NASA's Parker Solar Probe is the spacecraft moving the fastest. It launched from Earth in 2018 and flew through the sun's scorching atmosphere, using gravity to reach 330,000 miles per hour or 535,000 kilometers per hour. While you might think this is insanely fast, it's only 0.05% of the speed of light. In the past, NASA has concentrated its efforts on developing spacecraft that can travel at high speeds within our solar system, such as the Parker Solar Probe and the New Horizon spacecraft, which also achieved high speeds by utilizing gravity assistance from planets. NASA's research has also been focused on developing propulsion technologies that can allow spacecraft to travel faster and farther than ever before, such as ion thrusters, solar sails, and antimatter propulsion systems. However, these technologies are still far from reaching the speed of light. And even if they did, it would have been impossible to carry humans or any other living organism on board. This research is pushing the limits of physics and attempting to achieve what was once thought to be impossible. It has been exploring an alternative way to potentially overcome the speed of light barrier by warping the fabric of space-time itself, rather than trying to increase the kinetic energy of an object, as proposed by Dr. Harold Sonny White in 2012 during his presentation to NASA for its research into this field. The Advanced Propulsion Physics Laboratory, also known as the Eagle Works Laboratories, is a research facility within NASA's Johnson Space Center. The laboratory's main focus is on developing advanced propulsion technologies for space travel, including those that could potentially allow for faster-than-light travel. Now, speaking of propellants, let's look at one genius idea from a NASA engineer that could actually make us travel at the speed of light. NASA engineer David Burns created an engine based on the concept of the speed of light. Theoretically, this engine could achieve 99% of the speed of light. The special feature of Burns' theoretical engine concept is that this engine does not use any type of propellant. This concept was revealed in a mind-boggling paper published on NASA's website. As a thought experiment, they describe a box containing weights to explain their concept better. The weight bounces back and forth on a line with a spring at each end. In a vacuum such as space, this would shake the entire box where the weight appears to be constant. Simply put, the speed of light works by exploiting changes in mass caused by the speed of light itself. The helical engine is spun around by a high-tech particle accelerator found at the Large Hadron Collider. Electromagnets are then used to eject small particles at high speeds. After that, the engine surround is recycled and refired. The engine propels the ions contained in a loop to relativistic speeds. Then their velocity changes, causing a minor change in their mass structure. 
To generate thrust, the lightspeed engine pushes the ions back and forth in the direction of travel. This engine can also be used for long-term maintenance of the satellite station without the need for refueling. As described by Newton's laws of motion, when a ring is tossed in one direction, the box twists in the opposite direction. Every action should be accompanied by an equal and opposite reaction. When the ring reaches the end of the box, it'll bounce back, and the box's recoil direction will change as well. Overall, the box will swing in the same direction. However, if the object's mass only moves in one direction, it will generate a greater push in that direction and thus the thrust. Objects gain mass as they approach the speed of light, according to special relativity. And if the weights are replaced with ions in the box with loops, the ions could theoretically move faster at one end of the loop and slower at the other. The helical chamber must be enormous. To be precise, it's 200 meters long and 12 meters in diameter. And to generate one newton of thrust, 165 megawatts of energy would be required. If the lightspeed engine worked in practice, it would have additional drawbacks. According to some scientific sources, a 200 meter long helical engine traveling at the speed of light would produce the same force as typing on a keyboard. So while Burns is correct that it can reach near light speed, it will take a long time. At such speeds, the theoretical machine could transport astronauts to Mars in less than 13 minutes or to the moon in just a few seconds. Light will struggle to keep up with you at this speed, distorting your vision in bizarre ways. However, according to Dr. David Burns, the real purpose of the so-called helical engine would be to travel to farther stars than any existing technology, an invention that immediately became popular. In fact, if Dr. Burns' predicted engine of the speed of light works, it would open the door to all space travel. For the time being, even our most advanced spacecraft, including those of Elon Musk, are falling short. It takes them years, if not centuries, to reach the smallest exoplanets. This makes any human conquest of deep space impossible for some time to come. But why is achieving the speed of light so tough? The pursuit of reaching the speed of light is a unique challenge. It's an adventure that tests the limits of human knowledge and imagination. Every step closer to this cosmic boundary is a step into the unknown, where the impossible becomes possible. The first impediment to this journey is the need for energy. To reach the speed of light, an object must have an infinite amount of energy, which appears to be an impossible feat. To achieve even 1% of the speed of light, for example, a teenager weighing only 110 pounds, 50 kilograms, would cost 200 trillion joules. That's roughly the same amount of energy as 2 million Americans use in a single day. Okay, so let's say we figure out how to do it. The second challenge, the warping of time and space itself, is the true test of our technological prowess. As an object approaches the speed of light, its mass grows while its length shrinks. It becomes increasingly difficult to keep the object moving at the speed of light. Every moment becomes a battle against time, space, and physics itself. And on top of this, the laws of physics are the final boss in this incredible journey. According to Einstein's theory of special relativity, no object with mass can travel faster than the speed of light. This cosmic speed limit is still unexplored territory. The pursuit of the speed of light is a call to arms, a challenge that necessitates cutting-edge technology, the sharpest minds, and the bravest of hearts. It's a journey that will forever alter the course of humanity, one that'll push us to our limits and beyond.